My name is Magnus Marisson. Uh, I'm an actor and a producer. All right. Um, what was your first thought about playing someone with a hearing impairment? Uh, first, I was scared, and then if, if it would be PC to do so, and then I also felt like, oh, it's a, it's a, um, it's uh, I'm really ambitious, so this would be hard to do, and I I find really interesting things about my character, so that's why I was really excited to play him. Was it harder or easier to act with uh, using your voice to show your emotions? It was actually harder because I had to. I also had to learn sign language, so I had to learn a language that I don't know for a role that I don't know is going to be how big. Because we we didn't have a script, so I was just given sentences to learn. And then obviously, um, showing emotions without voice is different. It's very different. So I had to brush up my clowning, you could say. And how did you prepare exactly? How did I prepare? Um, first, to get myself into or get the feeling for it, I also blocked out my ears, which you shouldn't do for like two weeks, and I got a terrible ear uh, infection in both canals. You should not do that. It's stupid. I also went to the, hero, um, the center for the hearing impaired in Berlin and um, made friends there and tried to have as many experiences in that little time that I had there, and it was just fantastic. And I, I, I actually got a sign language coach. Cap, and he helped me brush up my signing. Okay, so your mum was your director. Yes. How was that? I mean, in every working group, you have various kinds of problems. We didn't. Well, what we did, we did, obviously. It's everything that my mother says to me, me as Magnus, I take it very personal. But we had to renegotiate our relationship, so I became more like, okay, I thought of it as I'm the actor and she's the director and then you just have to have that mindset and that helps you sort of guard myself. It was weird though because we had a um, scene, a sex scene in the film and, uh, and my mother, she was in the room and then she said, Magnus, you know what to do, I'll be outside. And yeah, I'm like, okay. Great, okay. So you had like two different levels of relationships, like one is your mom and one is your director. Yeah, exactly. Okay, right. um, was it hard to play without script? Yes, it was, because, I mean, improvisation is all right, you know, it's, it's fun to do, but when you have to improvise with a language that you don't know, you just, I don't know, it works, though, so it was fun. <laughs> um, how is it to act in a movie when your own familiar situation or history is quite similar? Um, it's all right. I think, I think that wasn't the hardest part, because, you know, you... It's an ima like it's an uh, uh, imaginative circumstance, so you shouldn't be. I don't get too attached to myself. I think that's that's like what what Brecht would have like. This is like the pinnacle what Brecht was seeking was like that you as an actor protect yourself by playing a character. I think that that's what I did, and um, that's why I, did, I don't feel traumatized. If you, if that's what you were asking. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Um, so which was the hardest part? Which was the uh, hardest part? Uh, I don't really know. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. I think, yeah, all of the, all of it had like a hard thing or a hard thing. I think. Oh, actually, no, no, because I knew, I know Floriana very well. So seeing her in a wheelchair playing very sick, it's just like, oh my god. Okay, right. Um, so did it scare you to be um, in a situation when you're playing the character? He's really troubled and he's trying to kill himself several times. So did it scare you to be in a situation like that as an actor? No, 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 no. I mean, uh, you want to make it less, um, what's it called, stereotypical. Yeah. So, and then you, and because it, it can be very flaccid when it is like stereotypically, or, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, not too much of a cliche. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. So, yeah, so I had to seek new points that made it interesting and show like a different kind of vulnerability. So when the film was shot, did you still kept reading lips automatically? I did, yeah, yeah. And after after we had shot it in like for months, it was haunting me. <laughs> okay. I'm reading your lips right now. <laughs> I'm scared. Do you have a favorite scene in the movie? Favorite scene? Yeah. Ooh, the plastic bag scene. I love it. <laughs> I mean, that was the most fun to shoot, even though it looks terrible, you know. Okay, so I think no one would have expected that to be a favorite. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs>
Um, and can you describe for me how you feel about being on the Nordic Film Days in three words? Excellent. Uh, fun. And smurder bird. Okay, <laughs> perfect.